Jen asks, is there a way to connect a modern SharePoint list to Outlook? I know how I used to do it, but uh, haven't seen that it is possible with the modern list. I have one with dates and was hoping to connect it to a calendar. Well, it has to start from a calendar format. They can't just create any list, throw a date in there, and it, they can create a calendar view, but they can't connect it and it won't connect to Outlook unless it started from being a calendar template. So, and then um, if you go back to the classic view, the connect Outlook button is still there. That's the missing piece, yeah. If yeah. they don't know how to switch to classic view. Yeah, so lower left, if, if you're watching this, lower left-hand corner, it says, you know, change to classic view and then it'll let you exit classic view, so. But that that's the low-hanging fruit. There's a couple more links in there about linking contacts. So it's I think it's important to note there's three types of lists in SharePoint that connect to Outlook. They're contacts, tasks, and calendars, but they have to start from that list template. You can't just throw a date or throw a person's, you know, a name or an address and it and it connect. It's got to start from there. So I don't know. Anybody else? That's my baby. I use that all the time. <laughs> so yeah. I'm a little passionate about it. That yeah. that said, I will add the little comment that if you're in Outlook on the web, you can organically go to SharePoint files um, in Outlook on the web by going to the group and then going to the, the little connector and I'll show you um, the libraries and it'll show you the files directly. So I know that was one of the things I used to, to talk about in my Outlook tips and tricks for Outlook and SharePoint integration was um, connecting the SharePoint libraries to Outlook so you could see them in Outlook. Um, but that's actually done natively in the Outlook um, if you use Outlook for the web.